শ্রী কপিল শিবাল মিনিস্টার কমিউনিকেশন অ্যান্ড ইনফরমেশন টেকনোলজি মনীষ তিওয়ারি মিনিস্টার ইনফরমেশন অ্যান্ড ব্রডকাস্টিং ডক্টর কে কে পল ডিস্টিংগুইস পার্টিসিপেন্টস লেডিস এন্ড জেন্টলম্যান ইটস ইন ডিড এ প্রিভিলেজ ফর মি to be present on the occasion of the release of the stamp of late Sri Sabit Ludhiani, widely acclaimed as a people's poet who wrote on the trials and tribulations of everyday life of ordinary men and women with great intensity and deep empathy. He was also recognized as the poet of the young because of his writings on love and beauty in a Gesumar weave of words. Born in 1921 in Ludhiana, Sahid published his first and best-known work, Takhiana, in 1944, at a very young age of 23. This book took the Urdu literary world by storm with its intense portrayal of raw pain and unrequited love. The torrent of emotions molded itself into poetry of great beauty which touched every heart. The pain converted itself into anger when it challenged the social norms and wrote about poverty, inequality, plight of women, children, farmers, and laborers. This anger in his later works evolved into a mature and balanced marriage of a poet who had lived a full gamut of emotions. While the intensity of emotions never dimmed, it acquired a contemplative dimension which comes from pain and sorrow setting into peace. He wrote with great sensitivity on the values and social concerns of the contemporary period. To my mind, one of Sahid's great contributions was to convert Jurdu poetry into filmy songs. His poems became songs. His songs became poems. It required immense courage to break the mold and take this day, which took Urdu poetry to every home, in every nook and corner of the country. Sahid also fought for recognition for the lyric writers through the Film Writers Association. Earlier, the name of the lyric writers never found place, either in radio broadcast or publicity campaigns of the films. He took up this issue forcefully with the radio and other media organizations and succeeded in getting the name of the songwriters included in the radio broadcast and other such places. That we have gathered here today, 33 years after his death, to commemorate his birthday is proof enough that he lives through his poetry, his songs in our hearts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.